This is Molly Reardon. Quantum questions, the key to success. Success leaves clues. So most successful people said they studied what successful people were doing. Tony Robbins went from nothing to a billionaire. And he asks himself the right questions. He talks about, a lot of people say, why can't I do it? He says, why can I do it? A lot of people say, I don't have money or I don't have whatever it, whatever it is that they need to succeed. And those are resources. He says, get resourceful when you don't have resources. He's not the only one. There was another man, Brian D. Ridgway. He was homeless with two children and a pregnant wife living in a hotel with $49 to his name. And he talks about asking the right questions. A lot of people walk around and say, why can't I do this? And they're spinning in circles. He would ask, why can't I do it? There's Vishen Lakhiani. He was renting a love seat from a college student. He was so broke and down and out. And he asks himself the questions. For instance, a lot of people will ask, why don't I have, why don't I have any money? A quantum question would be, why does money come easily to me? So get a pen and paper or something to write things down. If you're serious, if you like your life the way it is, don't get the pen and paper. But if you want to make change, the subconscious mind takes us seriously when we write things down. That's why people write contracts because the subconscious mind takes us seriously when we write down our goals. When we just think about them, we're probably not going to achieve them. And I have had the benefit of meeting some very, very successful people. And they told me to write down my goals and I didn't want to do it. I just wanted to keep them in my head. But when things get painful enough, and you want to change, you'll start doing something different. Because if you do the same thing, you're going to get the same res results. So if you haven't been writing things down, I suggest you pause the video and get yourself a pen and paper and then come back. So whatever it is that you want in your life, I want you to write down why does fill in the blank come to me easily? Why can I do it? Why has my life done a complete 180 for the better? Why am I able to achieve my goals? If your issue is money, why am I great at making and keeping money? Why am I able to achieve my goals? Whatever your need is, turn it into a quantum question. But in order for your subconscious mind to take you seriously, you need to write it down. This is why people write out contracts because they know that. This is why some businesses say by appointment only and they make you make an appointment so you'll take them seriously. Your subconscious mind is not going to take you serious until you make some changes.
But like I said, if you like your life the way it is, don't bother. But if you want change, if you're ready for it, you got to do something new if you want new things. So write out a full page of quantum questions. Another thing that is tremendously helpful, the brain is in the state of alpha or theta when it's manifesting. So find a free theta video, or if you want to pay for it, you can, you can pay for it or alpha video, the alpha waves, the theta waves, and to amp this up, to kick it up a notch, put on your headphones and listen to those waves while you write your quantum questions. So, like I said, I've been very lucky to be exposed to successful people. And when I started actually implementing, implementing, because knowledge isn't power, taking that knowledge and put it in, into action in the right direction, in the appropriate manner is. Because if what we want is in the East and we're running to the West, going the wrong way, we're never going to get there. So we have to find out what direction to go in. And we can find that out by listening to successful people because they're always talking about what they're doing. There's a ton of information that they've put on the internet exactly what they're doing. So we can run in the right direction rather than running the wrong way. Now, for seven years, I was one of those people that was running the wrong way. I was making videos on YouTube for seven years and not getting paid. And then I decided to do something different. And now, as of last year, they monetized my videos. And then I took more action and I started listening to the successful people. And for the first time this year, one of my videos is over a hundred thousand views. So success leaves clues. We need to write things down or our subconscious mind is not going to take us seriously. And the way you know your subconscious mind is taking you seriously is you are manifesting. There's a hard truth that what is within us is reflected outside of us, what we believe and what, how we speak about ourselves. You know, if we're walking around, oh, why can't I do this? Why doesn't anything ever go right for me? Why is everything so hard? That's what we're going to see reflected back to us. So these quantum questions change your reality and make you realize that if you take full responsibility and say, yeah, I've been asking the wrong questions and it's reflected in my life. That's the first step of making a change. But the exciting thing is, if we are responsible, powerful people that are creating our realities, we can recreate it. Once you fill up your journal, once your whole journal is full, take a look at your life and come back and drop in the comments if you saw a change. Now, sometimes I don't use my own tools. I'll go back to my old ways, thinking that they're going to work. And it's reflected in my life. People have seen it. Wow, how could that have happened to you? And I say, well, you know those cookies are going to make you fat, but you eat them. It's the same principle. Thank you for tuning in and much 
love.